The science of nutrition is a relatively young one. So it's only in the last few decades that we've actually understood the various components of food and what happens to them in our bodies, what it can do for us. And that in conjunction with food science, which deals with those very same components in terms of what happens to them through processing and what else you can do with them as in making different kinds of foods. Most of what we do in food science is very practical to bring safe, nutritious foods to people. I'm very proud that as a food scientist and especially focusing on nutrition, we're able to take foods, give people advice what types of foods uh, are available to them and provide them year round with safe, nutritious foods at a really good price. Would it not be for food science, I think many more people today would be hungry for they simply would not have the means to get the right kind of foods or to get the variety of foods that are available today from all over the world and their diets would be very limited. A lot of the big improvements in nutrition have come because of fortification. So back in the 1940s when we started putting B vitamins and iron into bread, you know, the nice thing about bread is most people consume it, we enhance it with nutrients, we get rid of nutrient deficiencies. Our milk is fortified with vitamin A, vitamin D, nutrients that you need to get. That would go away, that whole technology of actually making milk better and making sure that people get the nutrients they need, it wouldn't be there. Food science also allows us to experience food products that otherwise we would never taste unless we went to different parts of the country or different parts of the world. Coffee is a great example. Without food science, we would not have coffee unless we were in Brazil, India or some parts of Africa. Because the coffee bean has to be roasted, it has to be preserved in a certain manner and it has to be ground and made into coffee and the only way you would do that is if you had food science. The most important thing right now for food is to get it as nutritious as possible because we don't need that much of it. Now as we're really inactive, we need to pick our foods really carefully to make sure we get nutrients or we need to fortify our foods or enhance them to make sure the nutrients we need come in the foods that we select. In nutrition, we always want to make improvements in diets and we say less saturated fats is important for health food technologists, food scientists can do that for us. Same thing with fiber. So we uh, can meet the consumer halfway there and say, okay, we're not going to make you eat a food that you hate just to get nutrients. We can actually improve these foods and put the nutrients you need, make them better for you. So that's a great thing about food science and nutrition working together in partnership.